thing is to uh, measure out and cut out all your kind of hardware. So you want good strong heavy base and CD sized disc divided into quarters. CD sized disc of really stiff card because it has to hold the weight of those magnets. And then stiff card in this kind of template, semi-circular size or whatever for whatever kind of buckets you're using. Glue gun preferably for all the frame, for building the frame, because otherwise you're going to have to hold it um, until it sticks. Once you have your turbine and your frame built, just make sure your turbine is spinning in your frame, because you might need to do some final adjustments, like I have to change the base here. Then, stator, four coils, 200 winds on each coil, and a little bit of wire in between them to connect it up glued down, all going in the same direction, with your two ends glued to your LED. Rotor, four metal washers at the four corners of your disc, four magnets on washers. Sandwiched together. So hopefully this is going to fit here in this 12 centimeter circle. And we're going to have our two uprights here, so it's, nothing's going to be knocking off each other. So, just hold them there for a bit until they dry. And just make a tiny little hole. So that's that has somewhere to sit there. About 200 turns, and the coils should be about this size, a couple of centimeters. And um, they should be, you know, a little bit bigger than your magnet, basically. And you want to leave a bit of a gap between each coil, and a bit at the end of each. So, right. So these, as they're the stator, are going to go on the base, so this is the stationary bit. You want to centre these. This uh, wire, as I said, is enamelled, so I'm just going to scrape off the enamel. And it just turns kind of from uh, very metallic bronze to almost whitish metal. So I'm turning it to, there's a little function on it that uh, uh, makes a beep when there's current. Uh, let me see. A little mat in your hand out. Um, of how the stator should be set up. You can get people kind of selling 11, you know, mm -hmm. their left. Uh, how is our rotor getting on? Oh, it's just a dry. Um, that's attracting, so it's the wrong way around. Now it's repelling. That's attracting. Do you want to actually just feel the difference there? We have our rotor, which is going to sit above it. And um, we have our turbine. And we have the frame. So we have everything we need. I'm going to thread this through just to make sure it kind of goes straight through. The closer your, uh, your magnets are to the metal without touching them, if they touch it, it will uh, break the circuit. So it's really a case of kind of no catching in something. And it should be about dry. Precision engineering.